Hi, my name is Melissa van Dijk and in this video you will learn how to properly use the ordinary alpha botin niacinamide and rosehip seed oil. Now those are quite popular products and most of you have them at home and you may also wonder how you can also use them in one routine. Also how much you should use of each serum so that it also feels comfortable on the skin. And also what you have to be aware of when also using those products. Now the good thing is, those three products can be used in one routine, they have no issues with each other. It's actually also a great routine which I want to get into when also talking about the individual products as well as also showing you how you can also properly apply them to your face. Now before you're getting started with the different serums application, it is also important that you're starting off with step number one, which is also washing your face with a gentle and suitable cleanser. Now when using those three products in your routine, then you can also go ahead and use a cleanser that you like, which can be also a cream to foam cleanser, a foaming cleanser in general, or also a milk cleanser, which are mostly also hydrating cleansers for also dry skin types. Or if you have a bar of soap at home, which is also very suitable and gentle for the skin, that's also fine too, such as CeraVe or Cetaphil have one as well. Now I also want to mention that when it comes to your cleansers, you can also use a cleanser that includes SA or also one that includes glycolic acid if you have one at home. Since with niacinamide, alpha butane and also the rosehip seed oil, they do not have any conflicts when also using it with such acids. So you're also fine to use it with your favorite cleanser that you have at home. Now I also want to get started with the first product. Now I have already washed my face and I'm also now ready to move on to the first product application. And this is also where you may wonder, well, I have alpha butin and niacinamide. Those two are two water-based serums, which means those are the first serums that you're going to use before the oil. And how or which one should I, should I use first? Well, this depends on your skin concern. The one that also targets your most important concern is the one that you are going to use at first. Let's say you are suffering from hyperpigmentation and dark spots and you want to treat this area like that's your main problem when it comes to your skin concern. Then you would, for example, start off with alpha botin and use niacinamide as your second serum. If you want to target an uneven skin tone or you want to minimize your pores, then I recommend going first with niacinamide and use alpha butin as your second cell. So there's no right and wrong, it's more like what's your biggest concern and that's also the one serum that you're going to start with. And you also should remember the general rule of thumb, especially with the Ordinary products, since the Ordinary has so many like different formulations where it can be confusing, but once you know like the three main steps on how you should layer them correctly, it's also much easier to understand the concept of it. Now, as I already mentioned, niacinamide and alpha butin are two water-based serum, the rosehip seed oil is an oil. So the general rule of thumb always starts off with water-based serums. It's like going from the thinnest to the thickest texture. Then you're going to move on to any anhydrous solutions, which include little to no water. Then you're going to move on to any oil formulations, and then you're going to finish it off with any creams and suspensions. Of course, your skincare routine doesn't have to include all of the different formulations, but it can give you an idea on what should you layer next. And so um, I also recommend that with a water-based serum, it depends on your skin concern. Now I'm going to start off with alpha botin, since I'm going to like say that my biggest concern is hyperpigmentation. So after you have washed your face, pat the skin dry, you can immediately move on to the first serum application. And with alpha botin, you can also use it, depending on your skin concern, all over your face and neck area. But if you have a specific area, let's say your forehead area or your cheek area that suffers the most from hyperpigmentation, then you can also use it as a spot treatment. It doesn't have to be applied all over. And I use alpha albutin, still use it now, um, for those two spots right here. And I only used it as a spot treatment. I did not use it all over my neck, but still you can also go ahead and use it all over your face. Now I'm going to use alpha botin as a spot treatment so that you also can see how you can apply it for a specific area. Depending also on how large the area is, you may want to use one drop or even less. And so I'm going to target now this area right here, but then I'm also going to show you how you can use it on your face. So I'm going to use one drop, which is for sure enough for the two spots that I have right here. And then I'm going to start placing it 
specifically on that area. And then I'm going to leave it on the skin and let it sink into the skin. Now if you have an area on your forehead, you can go ahead, use one drop and go specifically over the forehead area. And if you have like a specific area that you want to target, I also recommend using your fingertip so that you can be a little bit more specific. Now, when it comes to applying it all over your face, then there are also different application methods and basically choose the one that works the best for you. And I'm going to show you now three different methods since we're also having three different serums. So it's like the right match. And so one of them is also that you're going to use a few drops directly on your face. If that's a preference of yours, go ahead and do so. I'm going to use three drops. And with any serum, I recommend using between one to three drops. Now, if you want to use it immediately on your face, then you can also go ahead and use your hand and start patting it onto the skin. Some people feel like if they are not going to use it immediately on their face, it's going to sink it all up basically, basically on their hand so that when you're reaching your face, it's already soaked up and you have nothing left on your face, which is totally understandable. So if this is also a technique that you prefer to do, go ahead and do so. And I also want to mention that also when putting it into the skin with alpha butin, there are no issues. You can bring it close towards the eye contour. Just make sure to not get it into your eyes. That's the only thing that I want to address, but you can also use it on the eye contour. And then you can also go ahead and blend the rest all over your face and neck area. And after the application of alpha butin, again, you're going to leave it on the skin, let it soak into the skin, and then you can also move on to the next product. Now I'm going to move on to niacinamide. Now niacinamide can also be used all over the face or use it as a spot treatment on blemishes, since it also can help you to minimize your pores and also to reduce the look of blemishes. So let's say on the forehead area, you have a specific area that you want to target. You can also use niacinamide as a spot treatment. Similar to alpha butin, there's nothing wrong with it. And since I have a little bit of redness right here from blemishes, I'm going to use it on my forehead area, but then also show you how you can use it all over the face. So I'm going to stick with one drop, as small as possible, or use even less and then use the other finger and then apply it, depending also on how big the area is. And then you can also use it on that specific area. Or let's say you have a combination skin and you're getting oilier towards the T-zone, as I have myself, then you can also use it only in your T-zone area, since it also can help you to regulate the oil production in your skin so that you're getting less oily. So if you have a specific area that you want to target, that's fine too. Now, if you want to use it all over the face, now another method on how you can also apply it is by using it on your fingertips. And again, I recommend using between one to three drops for the entire face and neck area. If you want to use more than one to three drops, that's totally fine. Just make sure that your skin is also able to fully absorb it and that it also won't leave any residue. I'm going to stick with two drops. Then this is now another method where you're going to use it on your fingertips. And then if that's a preference of yours, you can start patting it into the skin. Now with niacinamide and alpha butin, since those are two water-based serums, they can foam. If you, this also occurs to you, which also maybe happen when you're rubbing it into the skin instead of patting it into the skin. Don't worry, that's normal. That's what the product does when also rubbing it. Um, you also may come across to it, so there's nothing to panic or worry about. This is just how the products um, may react, depending on the application you're going to use. And again, with my Cinemite, you can also go along the eye contour. You can use it, just don't bring it too close towards the eye, like don't get it into your actual eye. So, and once you're done with the application, again, leave it on the skin, there's no need to wash it off. And I also want to address with those two water-based zones, alpha butin and niacinamide, depending on how you're going to use them. Um, let's say you're going to use them all over your face. 
I recommend that you're finding the right balance when also using both serums so that it doesn't feel uh, uncomfortable on the skin, that it also won't leave a specific thick residue because if you're going to use let's say two water-based serums after each other and you're going to rub it onto the skin instead of patting it, you can come across the pilling issue which basically looks like your skin is going to flake off but it's not your skin, it's the product that you've applied and this also mostly happens with water-based serums. So either use less or try the padding method instead of rubbing it so that you won't rub off the product so that it still is also able to sink into the skin. So now after you have applied alpha albutin and niacinamide or the other way around, depending on your concern, you now can also move on to the oil. Now when using the rosehip seed oil, I recommend using between one to three drops. Please also keep in mind that this is also a bit of a heavier oil. It may feel greasy quite quickly. So finding the right amount for your face and neck area is really important so that it also feels comfortable for you. And also recommend using the ordinary rosehip seed oil mainly in the evening. It can be used in the morning, of course, but because it's a bit heavier, it's very rich when it comes to the vitamin A like um, ingredient that is also normal for the rosehip seed oil. It's preferred to also use it in the evening, similar to retinoids, which also should be used in the evening, so that you also will get most out of the product. <clears throat> now, when using the rosehip seed oil, of course, you can immediately go ahead, use a few drops, to, uh, like basically on your face or with your hands and then apply to your face. Immediately, if you feel like that's working for you and you have no issues, you're not coming across any issues, that's totally fine, go for it. However, I want to share a little tip when using the rosehip seed oil. And this is also going ahead and wet your hands. Like, I mean, not completely wet, wet, that's going to drip everywhere, but make sure that it's slightly wet and then you're going to move on to the oil application and use the oil in the palm of your hand while your hands are still slightly wet. Blend it between your hands and then gently apply it all over your face. This may also make it e like even easier for you to also apply the rosehip seed oil. Of course, you don't have to wet your hands. This depends if you're having any issues or if you want to like simplify the application. If you like to, you can also pat your hands a bit dry so that they're not completely wet, only slightly wet, like so. And then you can also go ahead and use between one to three drops of the rosehip seed oil. Now I'm going to stick with two drops. And then also use it between your hands. This is another method on how you can apply the product. And also gently pat it all over your face. Again, you can also rub it into the skin or gently blend it into the skin if that's also working for you. That's totally fine. Just make sure that you're also able to really apply it all over. And again, you can also bring it closer towards the eye contour. If you like to, just don't get it into your eyes. <clears throat> and so this is also how you can simplify the application of the rosehip seed oil. Again, you can also use it on dry hands and then apply it like this. Now I want to address one more thing. Now niacinamide and alpha albutin do not really have a scent. They smell kind of neutral or like nothing. With the rosehip seed oil this has kind of like a stronger scent but it's a natural scent of the rosehip seed oil. Um, I mean I enjoy the smell, it doesn't smell as bad but of course everyone has like a different scent what they like and don't like. If you like it you can also use it on its own and that's basically it. In case the scent may bother you, if this happens, you can also go ahead and dilute it, for example, with another serum to neutralize the scent, or you can also dilute it with your moisturizer. I just want to give you that additional tip, since not everyone enjoys every scent, um, so that you also know how you can do this. Now I'm going to give you like a little demonstration on how you can dilute it, so that you also know how you can use it. When diluting it with your moisturizer, I recommend also using a pea-sized amount of your moisturizer, and also recommend using it in the palm of your hand so that you can mix it, like so. And then again, use between one to three drops of the rosehip seed oil, as you also would apply it on your face, like the amount that you're going to use on your face 
um, depending also on how much you're going to use. Uh, you can also mix it with the moisturizer, but I still recommend starting off with one to three like drops of it so that you can see if it's enough or if you only want to add more or less. So, and now you can also go ahead and mix those two. And then once you're done, you can also go ahead, take the mixture of your moisturizer and your oil, basically scrub it all off and then apply it evenly all over your face and neck area. This is of course another option. You can also do it depending on your serum. Um, if it also maybe has a fragrance, depending also on if you like fragrance or not, then you can of course also mix it with a moisturizer that has a little bit more of a pleasant scent for you so that you also can neutralize it from the rosehip seed oil. Now this would be now a specific PM skin care routine since I recommend using the rosehip seed oil in the evening. However, if you still want to use niacinamide and alpha butene in the morning, the rules stay the same. Use the one that goes first based on your like concern that you want to target. And then instead of the oil, you can also replace it with your favorite moisturizer. And you can use a pea size amount of it and then apply it evenly all over your face. This would be an AM routine. Using the rosehip seed oil would be your PM routine. Now I also want to mention that when using niacinamide and alpha butene in the morning and you want to finish it off with a moisturizer and also when being exposed to the sun, please also don't forget to follow it up with your last step when it comes to your skincare routine with a good sunscreen so that you also can protect the skin from getting sunburned. However, if you like to use the routine with rosehip seed oil in the evening, there's no need to use sunscreen because you're going to do the skincare routine just before you're going to bed. And this is also basically what I wanted to share with you. I also do hope that you enjoyed this video. And if you did so, please also don't forget to give it a thumbs up as well as share it. And yeah, happy skin caring and I will see you soon in the next one. Bye.